What's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while since the last time I recorded or since the last time I posted. A lot has changed. Uh, I did get a haircut if you guys know, didn't notice that but I've got a haircut like about two weeks ago now. Um, a lot has changed on the Subaru. I did get some new wheels. I know I just posted a video about that not too long ago but I did get a new set of wheels again and then I also did change up the look of the trunk. If you guys don't follow me on my social media you guys probably haven't seen it yet but I'm gonna show you guys what I did to the car now um, it is sitting outside already I pulled it out in the garage so I'm gonna show you guys what I changed and um, what changed throughout those uh, time that I didn't record um, unfortunately I didn't record when I was putting on the wheels uh, same thing when I did put on the big you know the new thing that I put on the trunk I didn't record any of those I don't know why but I felt lazy I guess but um I just wasn't in the mood to record it because I just wanted to be um I just wanted to put it on right away so I'm gonna show you guys what I did uh sorry I kind of cheated and not you know show you guys what I did to the car but there it is um like I said changed her up a little bit this is how she is sitting now I really like how it looks I used to hate um I used to not like having big wings on my car, but now that like I put it on the Subaru, um, it is super, super sick. A lot of people like it, and I like it. My girlfriend likes it. I just feel like it adds a little bit more of an aggressiveness on the car. But yeah, um, there she is right there. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a montage of the new things that I did to the car, which is the wheels and the big wing. you guys can see I did go with the new wheels which is the Volks Racing original um, those are the TE 37s um, I really like this wheel just because this is like engraved and everything and I just kind of adds like a really good look to the wheel um, it's really dirty uh, I still have to wash it but it's racing I think that's how you pronounce it but yeah um, no more bronze wheels it was super fast that I switched it up right away but this is the front um, like I said, you know, Volk Racing original made in Japan. Um, so those are the new wheels that I'm going to be rocking for for a really long time now until, you know, I switch it up again. As for the wing, we have the APR Performance. This is a carbon wing. I did get it for steel. I did not buy it brand new. Um, the seller did give me the trunk for free. There's a lot of, uh, you know... Not in 100% condition, like 100% good condition, but he did give it to me for free, so I cannot complain with the free carbon fiber trunk. I'm just gonna get it probably retouched up and uh, make it look brand new. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, I uh, hope you guys like what you know I've done to the car. Um, there, like I said, I'm still not done, I still have so much things to do with the car, but super happy with how it turned out. Um, but that's beside the point. Today I am switching out the seats, my stock seats. I know I really like the stock seats, um, but I think it's time for some uh, new seats. Well, it's not new. I've had it on my WRX, but I'm gonna put them on my Subaru STI. So I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, I don't have my key. Um, so you guys don't know. Well, if you guys watched the previous video, these are my stock seats. They do come with the Recaro's STI seats. I really like these, not gonna lie, but um, the ones that I had are probably gonna look way better, especially with the red interior. I mean, red interior accent and the red seat belt. Um, so, I'm gonna show you guys my new seats and um, it's time to swap out the stock seats to my new ones, so. You guys ready for the new seats? Um, there it is right behind me. Um, I don't know, like I said, uh, most of you guys know, if you guys follow me on so my social media, you guys do know my old seats from my WRX, but if you guys haven't seen it, um, here they are. So yeah, um, these are it right here. Uh, really comfortable seats. Um, I do plan on running the uh, four-point harness one of these days eventually you run the four-point harness seat belt 
Um, but as, as for right now, the stock seat belts will do for now. But uh, so let's go ahead and get these installed. Um, let's get the stock seats out. Um, it's really simple to take them out. Um, first, you just need to take that bolt off. Other bolt, there's two bolts in the front, two bolts in the rear. Same thing with the passenger side. But before we do that, we should probably disconnect the battery before everything blows up. So um, we'll go from there. Um, yeah, those are new as well. Um, I tried putting the rest. I had did have a cover in here as well and in a bar that goes around it, but it wouldn't fit because of the AOS and all that stuff. So I just left it as is for now. I'm gonna eventually buy some new um, engine mod base, make it look a little bit better. But um, to take off the battery, well, we don't have to take it off, we just have to disconnect it. So just take that bolt off, just basically wrench it out, take it off. Should kill everything. And then we should be good to uh, take the seats off and unplug the airbags and everything. So, basically, take this off. Um, I believe it was an 11, but uh, I'm scared. Maybe it's gonna shock me, so um, let's find out. So it was the 10. Let's go ahead and take this thing off. And like I said, you stay that, and then it should just come right up. And basically, just wanna put it right there. There's nothing hitting. So now, we should be good to take the seats off. Like I said, two bolts on each and the back, same thing with that side, so. So it is a 14 millimeter bolt. Um, so like I said, just get to uh, ranching this. So. I don't know when the last time it's been taken off, but came off perfectly fine. Let me go get the gun. All right, let's make life a little easier. Um, so that, basically, that. That. We got two bolts, and we're gonna move to the rear. Now moving on to the rear, I had to plug the battery back in and now move the seat back up. Basically, this just comes right off. I think so. Let's take this off really quick. That one. This thing just comes. Right up right there. The other side. These two probably don't need anymore. But there's those two bolts right there. Let's go ahead and take it off. Oh, there's my brush. I'm looking for this. But basically, I'm just gonna gun this off. Got it. Oh, I was tightening it. Got one off, let's take the other side off. Cut that off, loosen it up, but let's see. Comes off, two bolts, let's not lose them. So now this is ready to pull out. But before we do that, um, I wanna lean the seat back, like slowly, just because there's sensors down here that needs to be removed. Um, basically those that needs to be removed with this and this there may be one of those but let's go ahead and take it off basically this three sensors or four I think needs to come off so there's one there's four so now we can pull the seat out Old seat out. I'm gonna put this back in now um, and then go from there. So, actually, before we put the seat in, I forgot that you do need one of these bad boys. It's the ohm resistor that basically goes on your airbag right here so that way the light turns off. Otherwise, you're gonna have a airbag light in there. It's gonna be all crazy and all that stuff, but it's really simple. Ohm resistor basically, um, they look like this. It's basically just these little stuff right here. Um, you just need two, one for each side, driver and passenger. And then you basically just wanna take them, um, one of these, and you just plug it in the airbags. 
and when it's done it just looks something like this I'm gonna go ahead and get some electric tape and then we'll just wrap it around we'll wrap around the electric tape right here just to cover it up and make sure they don't come off so we just want to cover this thing up It should look something like this. Actually, I forgot. Uh, before we put put the seat back in there, we have to take the seat belt off, um, take this thing off, and then we'll put it over there. After five minutes, I got it off. It was uh, giving me a little bit of a hard time, but I figured out the way to do it. So now we're gonna put this in here, basically just right here. Got it in. Um, so now all I have to do is just plug everything back in here and um, basically just do what I did from when I was removing it and I'll show you guys when it, everything is all done. Here it is. Finally got her in. Looks really good with the red accent. Um, with the seat belt too. I think it just complements it even more. That thing's in there. Thing looks so good. Um, that's one down. Now we're gonna go knock down the other side. Probably not gonna, probably not gonna record the uh, passenger front um, just because I already showed you guys on the driver's side. So I'm gonna see you guys when it, everything is all done. After an hour later, uh, finally finished both seats. I'm gonna show you guys what they look now. Yeah, basically all done now. All we have to do is put the battery back in and they're not as comfortable as the uh, regular stock seats, but you know I've been used to this specific seat when I used to have the WRX, so I can't really complain. I really like how it looks. Um, like I said, you know, just adds it a little bit of an aggressiveness, aggressiveness to the car. Um, so, hope you guys in, uh, enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys did, please leave a like, comment down what you guys think of the new seats and of the new wheels and the big wing. Um, other than that, hope you guys have a good one. Peace.